So make 26 hour flight land in Nairobi, meet this one African woman for the first time, meet her, meet her family. Uh, they embraced me. Uh, they took me in. Uh, they allowed me to stay there with them. I didn't have to have a hotel or nothing like that. Uh, I stayed around and, and I wasn't in, I wasn't in no hood. <laughs> I wasn't in no hut. Okay. Uh, they had electricity with a modern home, modern house. They had family kids. They had food. I mean, they had dog. I mean, it was it was amazing. It was amazing. So I decided that I was going to travel the world, y'all. And I traveled to Africa, been been to many, been to Egypt, been to Turkey. You know, just started traveling. Uh, got married. My dad passed away, unfortunately, in 2019. Um, crazy, crazy, devastating, devastating. All right, let me stop this real quick. Y'all hold on real quick. Um, I'm doing a show right now. Just tune into YouTube. Just tune into YouTube. All right. So forgive me. Sorry about that. Uh, so uh yeah man my dad my dad passed away man my hero my dad was my hero my dad my dad was my savior man okay i had a rough childhood growing up man um, i was raised by a single father you know um he had to work a lot he had to take he had to provide and take care of the family do you know put food on the table so uh there's a lot of times where you know if when i was younger i was left with babysitters who weren't the best of babysitters you know you got to watch out who you leave your children with, okay? And don't think because they're a woman you can trust them. Don't think because they're women you can trust them. Don't think don't think that women are trustworthy because they're women. They're not, okay? They're sneaky, they're conniving, they're predators too. You got to understand that. So my dad was my hero, man. Thank God for him, my savior, man. Uh, he put in, you know, uh, he he instilled a lot in me and done a lot for me and uh it's because of him i'm resilient and i'm mentally tough today because of how he raised me how he trained me the things he would tell me uh how he wouldn't he, or he would hold me accountable how he wouldn't let me slide by i had to work hard okay my dad taught me work ethic right he taught me how to be excellent and it's helped me a whole lot in all my life every area of my life so i know a thing or two about being mentally tough i know a thing too about being mentally resilient you know um i've made hundreds and thousands of dollars in my lifetime uh you know uh you know actually not even hundred thousand millions okay let's keep it a keep it a buck uh i've, I've touched a million already in my lifetime and it's crazy you know, uh, but we're not stopping. We're not stopping. I'm not saying I'm rich. I'm not saying I'm I'm there now. I'm saying that hey, I'm in the trenches and we about to get it. And we about to get it. We about to get to it. Okay. We about to get to it. I was a financial advisor for 10 plus years. You guys, I mean, you're talking to a seasoned brother here, man. I'm on the level. Talk to your boy. I can tell you the thing or two about this investment in life insurance and, you know, uh, living trust and things of that nature. I still have the knowledge, even though I'm not in the business anymore. Uh, and I still have the connections. So if you need to get ahead, you need you need you need a financial advisor. Everybody should have one. Everybody should have a financial coach if you want to be successful. If you want to be rich, if you want to be successful in anything, you need a coach and a mentor. So I'll holler at your boy. I, I can get you to the right people, the trustworthy people that I get you to the, that'll do. You, like I would do you, treat you with respect, dignity, get you to the next level.